Hey, what's up YouTube? Jason with Stream Tech Reviews, coming back at you with a new review of the SteelSeries Sonar, a free program that SteelSeries released about a month ago. And I wanted to go through how you set it up, how to use it, the best EQ settings, so that you can hear every footstep in the games you like to play. Specifically, I'm targeting Call of Duty Warzone, but it works for Apex, it works for Fortnite. It has a whole slew of preset EQ settings that you can use for a multitude of games. It's really pretty amazing for a free set of software. I used to recommend the THX program, um, but I really think that this program beats it in about every single way. The customized EQ settings, per game being free and working with all sorts of headphones, I think just is amazing. So we're gonna go through how to set it up. Also how to set it up with a Go XLR, cause that's what I use and it can be a little bit technical. So we're gonna go through a regular setup. Plus if you have a Go XLR and then we're gonna show some EQ settings. I left most of the factory settings, but I did tweak the Call of Duty Warzone settings because I went through and I found what frequencies footsteps were most falling in and I tweaked it a little bit to get the most out of it. So let's jump into it. All right, to get the program, all you gotta do, just Google Steel Series Sonar. It'll bring up SteelSeries website and download it. Download it, extract it, install it, you know, all that usual stuff that you need to do. And then you'll have this nice program. First thing you got to do is go over to your Windows Sounds and make sure that you have SteelSeries Gaming as your default device. Also, make sure you don't have any other spatial software running. You don't want THX running. You don't want Adobe Atmos running. None of that stuff. You want it all turned off so that SteelSeries can do its thing. So make sure that that is your default device. When you download the program, it'll be here. You go to Sonar. And what you do right here is this is what it's going to output to. I have a Go XLR. So what I do is I have it output to my Go XLR system. But if I have, say, speakers like I do on my monitor, then I just click here and it'll output the sound onto my monitor or any other device. If you just have headphones, find your headphones, make it work. If it's Go XLR, put it on system. Same here. I have the chat go through the chat of the Go XLR so I can still control everything with my physical interface. And then we get to the pretty cool part. You come over to game, their default equalizer settings. And they have a whole list of games, Apex, CSGO, Destiny, Dota, Escape from Tarkov, Fortnite, Halo, Minecraft, Rainbow Six Siege, Roblox, Splitgate, Valorant, and several music mixes. You can pick what you want or whichever game you're playing at the moment. Um, for instance, when you play, um, um, I'm sorry, Fortnite, you can see they had Phase Mega choose their um, EQ settings for that to best hear the sound, hear what's going on around you. I haven't messed with this one at all. Uh, the sounds in Fortnite are great, plus the visual indicators, that's all I need. If you're liking the video so far, please make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on. It helps this channel greatly. It tells YouTube, hey, this is a good video. We should push it out to all the other people who are having trouble with footsteps, people who want to know more about the SteelSeries Sono program. So if you haven't already, please make sure and like and subscribe. Let's get back into it. What I did for um, Call of Duty Warzone was um, you know, turn on the equalizer. I did go through and I boosted around the 100 hertz, around the 200 hertz, and then I brought it up a little bit in the 1000 hertz range. Uh, a couple months ago, I did a, a video that I didn't end up releasing because I wasn't really happy with the quality, uh, but I went through a bunch of gameplay. I looked at the spectrogram and I'm trying to isolate what most Call of Duty footsteps fall in because I really wasn't sure. I went through it found out that they're mostly 100 hertz, 200 hertz, and then a few footsteps in the old gulag were around the 1000 hertz mark. So that's what I was focusing on. I then went in game and I tried it with Studio Mix, Midnight, Boost High, Boost Low. I tried all the different presets. Uh, I found that if you want just pure footsteps, like you don't care how much it's muddled, Studio Mix has a great footstep sound, but I also found that the gunfire was way too loud. Some people don't mind it and it's like, hey, you hear the great footsteps, you want the great footsteps, fantastic. It was too loud for me. When I was shooting my gun, it was like, or my rifle, it was like scaring me. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> like it was way too loud. Midnight was pretty nice, but the footsteps were a little bit too quiet. All the other sounds were at a good volume, but footsteps were a little too loud. I ended up settling on boost high. I found that to be the best mix of not having too loud a gunfire, too loud of trucks or vehicles when you're riding around, but being able to hear footsteps very well. So that's what I really recommend. Additionally, I do want to take a break to uh, thank everybody who subscribed to uh, the channel since my last video. Uh, I've got a new feature where I have this ticker running down below where it's gonna recognize everybody who's subscribed 
since my last video. So if you want that to be you, please make sure to like and subscribe and you'll make the banner. Moving on. Um, I do like that each of the games has its own adjustable. If you play a lot of different video games and you want to tune it all to whatever it is works for you, it'll save that and you can have that in there for all time. And I just think that is fantastic. Additionally, you can adjust your chat. Like if it's if it's too high, too low, like I normally just keep it normal because everybody's a little different. Uh, and there's also um, you can adjust your microphone out, which is fantastic. You can even adjust the pitch or the sound a little bit. Uh, give it some um, some fun walkie talkie sounds or whatever. Uh, I use the Go XLR and I use my stream deck for that kind of stuff for funny voices or mic EQ. But it's there and that is really nice. Additionally, if you have um, I believe it's just the headphones, the Nova headphones. It comes with AI noise canceling, which can be really nice. That means you don't really need to run NVIDIA broadcast. You can use that to cut out a lot of background noise. Um, you can see there is some here that I can just turn on, but they don't have the AI noise canceling. I just think overall, this, for a free bit of software, this is really nice. I really wish that this software had been around when I first started streaming before I got my Go XLR because I had a lot of trouble with voice meter. It was actually one of the reasons that I started looking into like some sort of other either software or hardware solution. I tried like the um, the Wave 1 and the Wave 3 because I really liked the software there and eventually just got hardware interface with the Go XLR. This is just a really nice piece of software that I think is really usable for a lot of people. So I really recommend it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, make sure and put them down below. I respond to all my comments. If anything's not working for you, let me know. You can also join our Discord. I have a little stream troubleshooting uh, section that you can ask a question in and I'll help you out. I've been streaming for a long time. Always happy to help. And that's the SteelSeries Sonar. Like I said, a great piece of software, free, which is my favorite price, fantastic. If you'd like some tips and tricks on retaining viewership using your stream deck, make sure and check out this video here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.